Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, this is Joe from Excel by Joe. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, add a percentage owned uh, column to your spreadsheets for to uh, just to calculate when you run lineups. If you um, kind of um, just build, building lineups in a spreadsheet, if you want to do a quick way to figure out how many how much owned each player is, I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, before we get into that, I just want to just let you know a couple of my uh, spreadsheet tools and course. I have a video course at SpreadsheetSchoolDFS.com, which, go which goes over a lot of spreadsheet tips for uh, for using it for daily fantasy. And I also have uh, spreadsheet lineup optimizers at OptimizeLineups.com. If you want to check either of out, um, that would be uh, that'd be great. So uh, let's get into the video. So here we've got some lineups that I ran just on one of my spreadsheet tools. And if we want to calculate how what percentage each player is, I'm going to go here to here to this is where we get our list of players. This is just our our salary export. All we're going to have to do is just do um, a simple formula. Well, maybe not too simple, but it's it's nothing that complicated. I'm going to show you how how to go through it, where we're just going to count up how many times this name appears in this whole sheet. And then divide it by the total number of lineups. And since we're, I've got 20 lineups here, we're not always going to have 20 lineups, so I'm going to show you how to make that kind of dynamic. So first part is we're going to use the fun function called count if. So you type in count if, parentheses, and what's the range? The range is the whole area that we're going to check. So we're checking this whole area right here. Uh, but since we made more lineups... I'm going to copy it all the way down to just the row two from K C2 to K329. So if if we end up having maybe 100 lineups or 150 lineups, it'll look at those. What it's going to do, it's going to look in there, and it's going to... Now, what's the criteria is what we're looking for. And so I'm just putting the cell C2, which in this case is DeAndre Hopkins. I'm going to put end parentheses, press enter. And there, and he showed up seven times. So I'm going to copy this down. Well, actually, before I copy this down, I want to put dollar signs in front of the numbers. Otherwise, if we copied this down, th these uh, th this range would, would be changing. So now I copy it down, and if you see, it's always C2 to, to K329. And... See, these are our amounts of times that the players have shown up. Like Clyde Edwards Hilaire has shown up 18 times. Well, this is great, but we still don't know what percentage there are because there could be 20 lineups, there could be 50 lineups, who knows? So now what we're going to do, we're going to take this number and then divide it by this new formula called count A. You're going to do count A, parentheses. This just counts the number of non blank cells. So I'm going to go back to our projections, or actually to your lineups. I'm going to start in this cell and just copy it all the way down. So all this is going to do is it's going to tell you how many non-blank cells there, there are, which is basically how many lineups you have. So I put the end parentheses, and it will count up just 20 cells that are not, not blank, which have something in it. So all the numbers are going to be divided by 20. So see, that's 0.35. Now when I copy this down, we got got our numbers, but a few things. First, what I want to do is get rid of this error. Well, actually, see see what happened is I didn't put dollar signs in front of it, and see how it's looking in C2 to C438. Now it's C3 to 439, and here's C4 to 440. That's because I didn't put dollar signs. Dollar signs anchor it. It keeps it from changing. So now when I copy this down, we got an actual percentage in there. But if this doesn't still doesn't look that great, we want to format this. So I'm going to press the little percentage sign, and we got percentage. And we can actually put a decimal place here by formatting the number of decimals. And there. And now we've got, see now Clyde edwards Hilaire is 90%, which was 18 out of 20 lineups. And now, there you go. So now you have your percentage owned. And then if you changed anything in your lineup, say all of a sudden you took out these two lineups here, 
you go back here, and now, see, Hilaire is now 88.9%, because it's only looking out of 18 lineups. And we got our new updated uh, ownership percentage. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. Uh, if you get any questions, let me know. And again, check out my video course at SpreadsheetSchoolDFS.com or my uh, lineup optimizers tools at OptimizeLineups.com. Uh, so that's it for this video. Have a great day. Thanks.